Hello and welcome to another class of ABME Biosciences and this is Abhishek with you. So today I will be learning about uh, gram staining. So gram staining, what is gram staining, what is the mechanism of gram staining, why it is so important in microbiological aspect and what it is called a differential staining. So everything we will be knowing here. So let us start. So gram staining was developed by Hans Christian Gram. in 1884 so he developed this method as a differential staining procedure now what is staining staining you all know like uh, to stain a bacterial cell why to identify them or to separate them from other bacteria now for this method uh, the basics of this method is depending upon the cell wall composition of bacteria so i'll be telling everything just uh, be with me now primary stain the things which are used in this gram staining procedure are as a primary staining used crystal violet now as a mordant iodine is used so I'll be telling what is mordant and why it is used. Now as a secondary staining, saffronine is used and as a decolorizer, acetone or ethanol is used so these four things we will be requiring for gram staining now i will tell you the procedure then i will go for the mechanism why and what okay now first you have to heat fix the smear that is you have to take a inoculum of bacterium onto a clean grease fish slide and then heat fix it so first heat fix now add crystal violet there for one minute wash off with water then add iodine for 30 seconds and then rinse off with water so what is a mordant why iodine is used so iodine is the substance which is used here to increase the concentration or increase the uh, amount of interaction from the primary staining to the cell wall or the bacterial cell so it will increase the dye's ability to bind to the cell more and more okay how because iodine is negatively charged whereas crystal violet is positively charged so here it will form a iodine crystal violet complex which will bind to the cell more firmly now up to this step all the bacteria will be in purple in color due to the use of crystal violet and iodine now we will be using the decolorizer that is ethanol for 10 seconds to 30 seconds or 20 seconds you can say then rinse off and at last saffronine as a counter stain for one minute and rinse off then go for microscopic examination So here up to this step all the bacterial cells will be in purple in color. Now after using this decolorizer what will happen few of the bacteria from the mixture of the bacteria or if you have a separate culture of gram protein and gram negative then one will be that purple in color and the other, other one will be decolorized. There will be no color in their cell wall. Okay. 
So after using this step, you will see the difference between the cells. Okay. Now, why that gram positive cells became purple and why the gram negative cells decolorized? So here is the thing. When you are checking in the, under the microscope, the gram positive cells will be purple in color. Here it is blue, but actually should be purple and in case of gram negative, it will be pink to red. So now this differential aspect is created by the cell wall composition I have said. So now let us look at the cell wall composition of gram positive and gram negative cells. So let us look at the structure. Suppose this is the cell membrane. Okay. And in case of gram positive, there is a thick peptidoglycan glycan cell wall. That is cell wall peptidoglycan mesh. So this is structure of gram positive cells. Now in case of gram negative, this is cell membrane or CM I am writing here and a thin layer of peptidoglycan that is peptidoglycan and an external layer of LPS LPS is the lipopolysaccharide which is very very rich in lipids and there are also polysaccharide is present but it's mainly rich in lipids now this is cell wall in case of gram negative bacteria. Now here you can see the difference that the peptidic glycan mesh work in case of gram positive is much more thicker compared to gram negative which is a thin layer of peptidic glycan. And apart from that there is a LPS which is absent in case of gram positive cells. So when you are adding crystal violet and iodine that is entered into the cell okay, through this mesh work through the pores and it retained okay in both the cases it enters to the lps layer into the peptidic glycan but when you are using this ethanol or acetone as a decolorizer what will happen as the lps is made up of lipids it will be solubilized in case of when you are using ethanol so most of the lipids with its pores and the dyes will be washed off that's why you will see no color after this step for those bacteria whereas in case of gram positive bacteria there will be shrinkage of pores that means the stain which is already retained by the cell that is crystal bile which is already retained within the cell will be retained confirmed and uh, firmly. So there will be no uh, exclusion of dyes that is crystal violet dye from the cell after using this ethanol and in case of gram negative due to the use of ethanol there will be washing off of the crystal violet color. Now, when you are using saffronin that is red in nature or red in color that stain will also enter into the both the cells okay now there the peptidoglycan as a thin uh, layer it will retain the red color and when it is entered into the gram positive there also saffronin is there but due to the background high background levels of purple color or crystal violet there will be no effect of saffronin but in case of gram negative, we will see clearly visible pink to red cells. So that is the differential aspect of gram staining which is uh, which made it differential staining process. So any kind of diagnosis if you want to know what is the bacteria that is gram positive in nature or gram negative in nature then this is a very efficient staining procedure in pathological aspect. So doctor will be uh, doctor can easily prescribe the appropriate medicines or antibiotics against these uh, organisms that gram positive gram negative. Suppose the doctor is prescribing you the antibiotic that is working on cell wall. So uh, that is also a separate issue though but I will tell uh, here that the cell wall composition is very important part of gram positive and gram negative bacteria in their defense mechanism and that will help the doctors to prescribe the medicines for any kind of disease you are having okay and their nature also differs from one to another. So this is the whole process of gram staining and 
I think this is uh, very clear but if you have any question please ask me in the comment section. Thank you very much.